Long-time Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat died in 2004. At the time, his doctors in France said they could not establish a cause of death. There have been conspiracy theories ever since. Now, as Alan Pizzi reports, they're opening his grave to look for answers. For the past eight years, Yasser Arafat has been a slowly fading image in the Palestinian territories. Tomorrow, he'll become the focus of attention and a symbol of what his people see as yet another crime against them by the Israelis. His body will be exhumed and samples taken to determine if he was poisoned by polonium-210, a radioactive isotope that causes certain death. Palestinian official Mahmoud Labadi is in no doubt Arafat was the victim of foul play. This exhumation reveals the facts and reveals that Arafat's death was not natural death. Do you believe he was poisoned? Yes. Arafat died in a Paris hospital almost exactly eight years ago after falling ill. His wife claimed he was a victim of polonium, which can only be produced in lethal quantities by a state-run laboratory. A Swiss lab found what were described as significant traces of the radioactive substance on Arafat's underwear and toothbrush. His cement-covered mausoleum has been screened from public view. Three separate samples will be taken from Arafat's body by specially invited forensic teams from Switzerland, France and Russia. The results of the investigation aren't expected for several months, but Arafat's body will immediately be reburied with full military honors. Not everyone is in favor of the exhumation. <laughs> Palestinians are convinced Israel is the culprit. What they really want to know is who helped them. For CBS This Morning, Alan Pizzi, Ramallah.